Hello YouTube, came in here today, went to landfill again. I found a jar, opened it up, and ta-da, paint. Still fresh. It's actually a medicine jar, I know, but it says PD and Co on the lid. I'm gonna leave it there though, bye. Okay, I'm back with the review. So I'll show what I found. So first, I'm gonna tell you about the story. Uh, all of the big soda, soda uh, bottles here, which are uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, there was this like row of them, up, of soda bottles upside down in the shape of a giant circle. I only managed to dig out about a quarter of the circle because the rest of it is still buried and I ran out of time before I had to leave. So I managed to get about 10, about 15 bottles of which these were the only emb embossed and whole ones. So, and they were like lined up upside down in a circle, which was weird. So, now I'll show what I found. Start with the stuff that wasn't in that circle. Okay, there's this like salt shaker. Unembossed, except for a 14 on the bottom. You put that down. Whatever, that's good enough. And this is just like, I'm assuming like alcohol bottle, except it doesn't say federal law forbids, which is weird. Just looks like an alcohol bottle, the style. Maybe vinegar, actually. Okay. Then there's this. This is one of my favorites of the ones I dug. Silver Fox Beverages, and it has part of a label. See? It looks like it said Silver Fox. Yep, I'm gonna spray paint that with clear gloss so that way it stays on. That's all. And then it says New York City, New York on the back. Oh, and based on the glass company, I can tell you the exact date of it. I just have to check my guide. And it has like these stars around the neck. Yep. Okay. Next, well, all of the big one soda bottles here are from there. This one's not. It's a beer bottle. It says Munch Brewery. It's a bit worn down, but that's okay. It has an M there. And then it says Bottling Department, Inc. Munch Brewery Bottling Department, Inc. New York, Brooklyn, New York. And that's cool. Yep. I'm not keeping all of these for my personal self. I'm having a sale sometime soon at a, fe at a local festival. This is Able Bottling Works, Inc. Peekskill, New York. And here it says Clear Rock, which is a brand of soda, which I actually have found before, but I didn't know it was made by Able. I have a slug-plated Able bottle, and I know a hutch exists of it, which I do not have. Okay, then there's this, Able, another Able Bottling Works. This is Clear Arc. Some of these had ACL, but these ones clearly didn't. On the back it also says Peak Skill. It's basically the same. Oh yeah, I forgot to show it has a script A on the bottom for Able. So that's pretty cool. I might be keeping those. Then there's this one, which depending on the information for if I'll keep it. It has like a bit of a metal seal here. I think it's beer. And it says Carl H. Schultz Corp. So I guess it depends on its age and everything for if I want to keep it. It's machine made, I think. Actually, the seam seems to stop right, right before the lip. Weird. Okay. Next item. Is this. It says Everbest. Food products. I thought it said Everest originally, but it says Everbest. Food products, Inc. And it says Brooklyn, New York. Yeah, uh, I think actually, weirdly enough, most of these are from Brooklyn. And there's this ginger ale. Canada Dry ginger ale. Also, well, this one's New York, New York. Canada Dry. Yep. Okay, and that's all. Hope you enjoyed. Bye!